Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Old this North Church. But before we do, I did forget to listen to a hollow tape a few episodes back, and I just noticed it. So let's go ahead and listen to Marlene's hollow tape first. We're going to go into our Pip Boy, go over to Miscellaneous, and it should be right here. When are you coming home? You work too much. I want you to read to me again. Mommy says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I love you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you too. Me miss you. Come home soon. Okay, let's go ahead and start making our way to the Old North Church. We're going to head south. Good day to you! And then we're going to head west. And then we're going to head southwest and follow this around. I am running low on some 10 millimeter. Need to restock up. I'm gonna head right. The man who picked the wrong I'm only heading right for a second just to get rid of these guys. Okay, we're going to turn back around. Continue southwest. Just following this road down. We're going to be going over by the amphitheater here. If you want to go over there and discover it, you can. But we'll be going over there eventually anyways, so it's not really necessary. We're going to make a left right here, facing south, and this is going to be the Hallucigen Incorporated building. If you don't have Master Locksmith, you can go up right here, take left, and go into the front of the Hallucigen building. But we're going to go through the back. I'll see everybody inside. Sweet. A chemical leak has been Ooh. detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. What? Huh? We have a guy that's invisible. Be very, very careful. We're going to pick up these hallucinogen canisters. They're scattered all over this room. There's one up here. We want to pick up the glowing ones. Who's there? You'll all pay. Oh man, he he had a full set of sturdy combat armor. So the ones that are glowing are the ones that we want to pick up. There we go. 
Just trying to grab all these Kims. So the chemical leak that's going on here is making the gunners freak out and attack each what? other. Hmm. Be careful of the trip wire here, or the laser trip wire. Just making sure I'm not forgetting any of the canisters. We only need one to turn in for the quest, but we can turn the canisters into... Um, no, be careful. Yeah, that's right. But we can turn the canisters into grenades. Pretty cool. I'm going to hack this terminal and turn on those right there. That'll help us out and uh, not, like freaking out and all of that stuff a chemical leak now we can go in here safely we're not like freaking out it's just the no, no, um go away, go away. screen will like get blurry and stuff is what I was meaning go ahead and hit that button Freaking out. A chemical Poor guy. Let's put him out of his misery. <laughs> Do it again! Again! <laughs> Got it. Where? You have to. Voices. Kill. 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 <laughs> We're going to jump across. Uh, who, who's there? Uh. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. No, we'll grab that corn off of him and the Salisbury steak. Right in here, we're going to hack this terminal and I'm going to disengage the lock for that safe. Let's go ahead and loot all of this. Who's there? Look out! <laughs> Man, I am not getting very good RNG when it comes to the legendaries. Let's heal ourselves. Dog meat, you're in the way, bud. That's the exit to the hallucinogen or the entrance, depending on which way you came in. A security lock, a chemical is now as detected. Welcome to the hallucinogen labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. We're going to hack this terminal and we're going to turn off the emergency um, lockdown. The security lockdown has ended. Please evacuate the building in an orderly fashion. Bugs! Kill them! What? Kill them all! Let's go ahead and press the these buttons. Leak has been detected. Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're everywhere! 
Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from the use of dispersant. Hallucigen gas. Reliable crowd control since 2055. Hallucigen gas can stop a riot faster than any other product on the market and without the messy side effects of our competitors' offerings. Use with caution. Unpredictable sensory experiences may result. Subjects exposed to high dosages may suffer catastrophic adrenal failure. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try Hallucigen Suppressor, a safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Side effects may include the partial and or complete paralysis of the user, bystander, small animals, and or large animals. Discretion is advised. Invisawave from Hallucigen is a new advance in the field of stealth technology, capable of doing away with cumbersome personal generators forever. Some subjects may become inaudible and or intangible. Effects may be permanent. Further research is ongoing. Hallucigen's Eradicator provides your forces with a state-of-the-art field decontamination solution. Small amounts of residual radiation may persist in the affected area. Dosage subject to change pending safety evaluations. I just wanted to show off the things you can do with the buttons, like what they all do. I think it's pretty cool. Be really careful because this is irradiated over here now. Made everything disappear in here. That's where we want to go. Put on some Radex. This is where we killed the guys earlier when we were up top. Turn on these protectrons from this terminal if you want to help you out. It's not really necessary. Take that Brahmin meat too, why not? I like to do the taxidermy stuff. You can hack that terminal if you want for a little bit of lore. 
Again, that is not the utmost importance to me. And then right here, we can pick up a Tesla science magazine. Perfect. This is going to make energy weapons permanently inflict 5% critical damage. Pretty good for all you energy weapon users. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Move. Oh my god. Dog meat. Are you serious? Okay, well, we'll go down this way. I was trying to show everybody the way around. Just come over there. That's where we got the Tesla at. What? The Tesla science, that is. And then you come down. The dog meat was blocking my way. Not gonna bother picking that. <laughs> Grab the cap stash. Just continue forward. It's pretty linear in here, so you shouldn't get too lost. And then this brings us to the other side. Evacuate the building. Right over there is a terminal to read some lore with the drugged water and all of that stuff. Explains a little bit on it. That's all. Let's go ahead and go outside. Right here we can see a railroad sign. We're actually going to be making our way to the railroad today. Come out here. We're going to head north. And then we can hop over this railing. You don't really have to, but we are. And then we're going to head east. Over there is the amphitheater again. Just in case anybody really, really wants to go over there. going to backtrack I heard somebody just keep heading down this road We'll heal ourselves up real quick. I just looting the dogs. Now we want to head southeast. Gonna pass Cabot House. And we're just heading straight towards the Old North Church. Now, we did already discover the Old North Church, so if you wanna fast travel to it, you can. But I'm just making sure anybody that may not have uh, actually discovered it can make it over here. Then we're going to take a left down this road. And then right here is the Old North Church. So we can hop out over here. And then we're going to crouch and go inside. Be really careful, there are a ton of ghouls over here.
seems like this one is always a legendary. I don't know. Every time I come in here, that guy is a legendary. Still have some ghouls to fight, so be aware. I'll take the gold watch, why not? That's all of them. And then right here, we're going to put in the password. The password is going to be railroad. Very original, mm, right? Spins. So right here, we can hit R and then spin uh, it. So it starts with R. A. I. L. And then R O A D There we go. Stop right there you went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting but before we go any further answer my questions who the hell are you why don't you tell me who you are first in a world full of suspicion treachery and hunters we're the synths only friends we're the railroad so answer my question I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. Does the Silver Shroud mean anything to you? I heard he took out Sinjin's gang all by himself. Pretty remarkable, huh? And, as if that wasn't enough... Dez, seriously, you haven't heard of him? He's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth is flying his flag. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Why would the Institute be involved? Many kidnappings in the Commonwealth are perpetrated by the Institute. Why? Who knows? But I've never heard of them taking children. So hopefully they're not involved. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. 
We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Let's go ahead and talk to Deacon. Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game, but we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right, I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Let's go ahead and exit the Old North Church. Probably gonna switch to strictly using a rifle soon. Just crouch in that way the enemies don't see me in here. Go into our pit boy real quick. We're gonna fast travel all the way over to Drumlin Diner, which is right over here. If I can push the map a little bit. Let's go ahead and head south. If you want, you can go up to that house. That house should have an event. Maybe. Depends. It is an event spot, so anything can happen over there. Over here, the wicked shipping. Because it's been a while since we've been over here. We can reloot it. This time we don't have to lockpick it because we have the wicked ship the wicked shipping key. We're gonna come down to these train tracks and then we're gonna hang a right. Got some power armor for anybody that likes power armor. You can go in here, hack that, and get yourself some power armor. I'm gonna take out these dogs.
And then right under this overpass, we're going to follow it down. So just follow the overpass. And we're going to meet up with Deacon and talk to him. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. He's going to teach us all about the rail signs that we've been seeing in Fallout 4 as we've been traversing the Commonwealth. I love Deacon. He's such a cool companion. Got another rail sign right there. And another. We're probably close. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. No clue why Deacon just ran off, but okay. Hi. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? Come on, Deacon. Weirdo. Excuse me. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. 
The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? You scavenge anything that can help us? We're risking our lives out there. Oh, hell. I suppose I could spare a few things. I don't want your deaths on my conscience. You've done enough for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. Let's go talk to Deacon again. <clears throat> well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talkie talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Okay, we're gonna backtrack. gonna head down this way and then we're gonna turn around and go back the way we came where we're following the overpass as soon as we get to the railroad tracks we're gonna make a left heading north Everybody still has a chance to get that power armor if you want it. And then right here is the escape tunnel. Let's go inside. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. 
First step is to override the security lockdown. We're going to hack a terminal over here. You can ask Deacon to unlock this terminal as well, but we'll do it. We have a uh, master hacker. Let's crouch. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one means danger. Yeah, we know, poor dead bastard. We know. Hello? Oh. See the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before... Well, you know. Look around. Right back here is where the cache is. Again, we're going through some pretty linear Hostile stuff. Sensor reading detected. Defenses, it would appear your it. attempt at hey, stealth has failed in life order of the Institute. You must be destroyed. Systems offline. I regret any suffering you may incur. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day tech. There shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Just looting everything I can. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. You must be terminated. Found you. Sustaining damage. We're almost through this area. Not too much longer. Movement detected. Curious. Is someone present? Engaging. Bye bye, Gen 1s. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We are entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. I think it would have been cooler if we were able to have the switchboard as a like compound for the railroad come over here we're gonna get ourselves a u.s covert operations manual perfect it's gonna make our sneak even better if you want you can hack this terminal and get a little bit of lore. Totally up to you. 
Same with that. Just gonna disarm all of these laser trip wires. And the Tesla arcs. Hello. Shutting down. Your destruction is inevitable. You don't have to lockpick uh, that door if you don't want to. I'm going to go into dog meat real quick. Yo, psst. I must end your existence. It would appear my target has disappeared. I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors available. If they return, I will be ready. Hostile cell critical failure. I have found you. <coughs> Destruction of fellow. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Grote, Supreme Lex. Open says me. I will limit the pain I've gone. Hmm. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. Gone. He died Excellent. protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let its size fool you. Why are you giving this to me? Our best agents carry special ordnance made by Tinker Tom. He's... Well, you'll know when you meet him. Call this gun a vote of confidence. I absolutely love the Deliverer. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Thank God someone managed to close the security door in time. Carrington's prototype is in there. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Grote, Supreme. Excellent. Lex. Open says me. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield. you want you can come in here hack that terminal and open up that door there's really not that much to loot in there it's kind of a waste of time go ahead and disarm these mines these cryo mines You can lockpick that. There's a fusion core behind the door. End of the line. Just power up the elevator. Go ahead and go into the Commonwealth.
There is a super mutant behemoth right over here by the uh, super duper mart. We're going to take him out because we need to get kill, I think, three to get a trophy. We'll see if he's still around because the raider up there kills him pretty easily. He's not. That's okay. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Appreciating the moment really is a lost art. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. Okay, let's go ahead and go into our pit boy. And we will fast travel over to the Old North Church. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.